Ladies and gents, BKB presents three two minute rounds of bare knuckle boxing. Introducing first, in the blue corner, representing Shrewsbury, with a BKB record of one win, two losses, and two defeats. Mark Shaw Fuse Hanley! Across the ring, his opponent stands in the red corner, representing Birmingham, making his second appearance in the BKB ring, Sean, the baby-faced assassin, McPike! And the All-Brighton is our referee in charge of the action. Yeah, nobody's brought a ticket to see me wrestle you fuckers about. Keep it nice and clean. I oh, don't get involved, okay? Watching your fingers at all times. No hitting and holding. Listen to my instructions, okay? Anybody misbehaves, let me deal with it. Switch them up. Good luck to you both. Let's get down to business. Andy or Brighton, the referee for this one. Simon Aycock in the corner. He's training. Always. And straight out. Sean, very light on his feet, McPite. No, that's an obvious, you know, uh, an obvious... He's got a good thing. boxing pedigree. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's Hanley, that's, that's Hanley, he comes looking. Yeah, straight out, waits for his, you know, try to time it right. And this is a fight, when you've got a fighter like Hanley coming at you, Where's rushing at you, Birmingham? you've got it, you've got to be good to, to punch on your back, on the back foot. Good shot there from uh, McPike, just catching uh, Hanley as he come in. Little left hook from that south pole stance. If somebody comes rushing at you, you've got to be calm to punish them. Yeah. You know, it's, it's punching. And some fighters, solar fighters, they, they struggle punching down, don't they? Yeah. So I think Lennox Without Lewis was, used to say he used to hate fighting uh, shorter guys because he found himself punching down, leaving himself slightly exposed. Oh, that must have been a shot. He's gone down there, to Tom. That's a it's over. You see? It? No, it's not over, is it? No, I think he was saying it was no knockdown. Oh, no knockdown. No knockdown, says the yeah, referee. But he must have took some. No, it wasn't. He was. He didn't. He wasn't punched down. Oh, right, he? right. It was just the way he was holding his head. Yeah. I thought he took a little clip before he went down. Good boxing from Sean Pike, he's staying on the back foot. He's, he's, nice he's lively, work. good footwork. Yeah, yeah. He's not getting involved in a fight, you know what's going to happen as soon as Mark Handley, um, Handley gets his chance. Thinks for certain. Mark Handley's going to rush at him. Yeah, through. he knows that's coming, but he's timing it well, he's just a little faint. You'd like to see... That's it. You'd, like to see, see, you'd like to see McPike, he's caught him there. Yeah. You'd like to see McPike, as he's backing off, yeah, hit little, on the counter. Yeah, a little counter punch. But he's boxing well, though, Tom, to be fair, nice movement. Using that southpaw uh, stance. Moving off to his right and left. In Canada, second round. And three rounds this. And the pike again. He really is light on his feet. And I think I think Mark would prefer a toe-to-toe. -to -toe yeah, he wants a, yeah, a tear up. He wants a tear up, he wants a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's waiting for that mis he's waiting for McPike to make that mistake so we can steam in, but. To be fair, um, McPike's not making many mistakes. Boxing well on the back foot, like you said, Tom. You know, moving about left to right. He's not getting. He's not engaging in a tear What he mustn't do as well is let Handley get him on the ropes. Yeah, that's it. Well, he doesn't want to be trapped on them ropes. That's where Handley wants him. And that's that's good. That's good again from uh, McPike. See how we tied him up when he got inside. Swelling on his left cheek there, cheekbone, just, just on the left cheekbone if you look. And he's covering it now, see, where he was caught. Yeah, yeah he's a little mouse there too. Yeah. So he must have been caught somewhere down the line. I wanted to be fair, there are no softies in BKB. <laughs> Whether they're classy, yeah. whether they're not classy, whether they're street they're not yeah. soft, they're tough guys, all of them. Ooh, so they're just in. Yeah. This Let's is where you want to see him use that footwork to just Little slip, and move, him, yeah. slip and move, slip and move, and then counter. Yeah, good shot from the pike time that well. Doubled up with the jab, pinned him up there, uh, Hamley on the ropes, and then tried the backhand. Because they are awkward fighters like Hamley. They're yeah. awkward. See little feints coming from him as well, McPike. 
He Hanley just wants that. He, he's waiting for something to go off, you know, a jab or so he can steam in and it's not coming. He's, you know, he's keeping his cool McPike. Oh, he's caught him there. Good shot. Well there. Yeah, good shot. McPike caught him. He would have been told, Hanley, he would have been told this. Yep. You need to know your, so you need this round. He knows it, he might even be more ferocious yep. this time. And that's it with McPike now. He just needs to keep a cool head. Keep carrying on boxing the way he's doing, picking his shots. Don't get drawn into a tear up. That's what Handley wants. He kept it cool for two rounds. You know, don't play up to the crowd on this occasion. You know, just, you know, you've got the win in the bag. Keep picking your punches, staying away. Yeah, Mark Handley's style. Yeah, so he's trying everything he, now, he's, isn't he? He's, exactly. He's Mark Handley's style everything. is whatever you say about it. Yeah. He can be very effective. Yep. He's trying to gold him into a fight. McPike's not having it. And something's happened. He's caught him in the uh, yeah. below the belt. The, yeah, the lower the lower regions. <laughs> <laughs> he's still light on his feet. Yeah, though. he's boxing well. So there's not loads happening. But I can see what he's doing. He's not. The minute he throws a jab, Hadley's got handley has got something to go off. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah. nice little feint from McPike. Not getting drawn into a fight. Hanley wants him to, you know, he, he wants something to come in so he can react, and he's got nothing to react off at the moment. Nice boxing from uh, McPike, side to side. Ooh, good shot. Tried the left up a bit there. Absolutely so. lovely, yeah. sharp one there. Nicely picked shot. And on the back of a defeat, you need a win, don't you? You need a win. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that's the way he's heading now. Andy O'Brien just gets him apart. See, what, I will, it, what I will say, Tom, is yeah. if you look at Hanley, uh, Hanley struggling, with, you know, to get any shots off. Look where my pike is, he's southpaw, yeah. open guard, not open guard. He's showing all that, all that, all that stomach. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, after three rounds, we consult the judges' scorecards. I can tell you it is a unanimous decision. To the red corner, Sean McPike! Straight away there, he makes, for those of you that don't know, the Birmingham City supporters, the Zulus, he just made the Z there for the fans to see. He looks really pleased with <laughs> A likeable lad. Poses with Scott Burt. Gets his medal off him. And now embraces Mark Handley, who said this was his last fight. Great team. There's the Zulu sign again. Great, great spirit from the uh, two guys. Wonderful family, the BKB. They punch each other inside out, inside the ring, but outside of it, there's not a problem, and that's exactly the way it should be. Let's now cross to Robin Reed, who's going to be talking to the winner, Sean McPike. And yes, yeah, Sean, sure, great win for you there. Me, we're talking about it that in the committee. Some nice control boxing. You kept it nice and controlled. Didn't that go out all guns blazing? Talk us through that. I just wanted to take my time, really, pick my shots. I felt that now looking back, maybe I could have stepped up a bit more, maybe higher pace, tempo, and got him out. But I got the fucking win after my last, my last defeat, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I, was, I was just about to say, you're coming off the back of a loss. You know, it's great to have the win in now, but it's the way you did it as well. You box well, you box clever. You didn't get involved in the tear up. That, obviously, that's what Hadley wanted. He wanted a tear up. You kept your brains and, and you box well. You know, is that, is that something that you're, you're going to still work on? or? Of course, that's how I fight. I'm a boxer, mate. Yeah, I believe I have the skills to. to I want totals, mate. I'm not in here just to make the numbers up. I want to have a go. So any names out there? I know you're not going to disrespect anyone, but any names that you're looking for? Are you just looking for British or a world title? Um, let's see how it comes. You know what I mean? Okay, I just want to say one thing. I seen an interview with Ash Williams the other day, and uh, he, someone commented and saying it was a lucky shot that he caught me. With. I don't believe in lucky shots in boxing. If you throw a fucking puncher and it lands, you practice that in training. You walk down the street and pick twenty pound up. That's luck. 
I mean, he practised that shot and put it on me, so congratulations. No, you're right, and I'm glad you said that. I used to get that back in my day. You know, lucky punch. There is no lucky punch. It's boxing, you throw a punch, it lands. It's the other guy's fault for not making it. So well said on that side of things. So like we say, we're looking for a title, a British, maybe a world. I know you're not going to be disrespect any particular names, and I'm not going to get one out of you. Uh, I don't think there's anyone my way. I'm, I've walked around at 66, yeah. so um, I'm going to have to put some weight on. I don't even know who's got the belt at the minute. I know uh, John Jones, he, uh, he, he looks a good, hard foot, mother foot. He looks a good, uh, good fight. Yeah. I'd share the ring with him. Oh, and that's nice here to say, like you say, you know, golden in, but you know, you're disrespectful. That's a fight. That's a fight you'd like. You know, great performance. We enjoyed watching it again today. Looking forward to seeing you out next time. Well done, my friend. Well done. Congratulations.